together with Jeff Matthews. Welcome back. A look at the Westcliff time lapse photography. You can see even there where it's normally a pretty gusty, windy area. Well, old Glory is hanging freely at times, although the clouds did come in after two or three o'clock there as well. A look at the satellite radar composite for your viewing pleasure. You can see some high and mid level clouds moving over the divide right now from Denver down to the Springs, both Manitou and Colorado, and down to Penrose and Col uh, Pue down to Pueblo and Canyon City. And that's going to continue to move eastwards towards Lyman and La Junta in the next couple of hours. Not really associated with any stormy weather, part of a warm front that the high pressure system to our south is going to want to dragging through in the wake of Friday night's storm that is plaguing the Great Lakes states. So we'll have a mostly cloudy night for tonight. I suppose maybe the very highest elevations, Pikes Peak could pick up a sprinkle that's inside of those clouds, but not really falling. But by tomorrow morning, it will have cleared the area and we will be in the warm sector behind this warm front and then the temperatures are really going to soar. We've already transferred out of the 20s and 30s. Now it's 60 in the springs and you can see south and west there is warmer air to be had and that's coming in our direction thanks to that high that's going to force the jet stream northward, draw the warmer air in our direction, increase the winds a little bit tomorrow afternoon and there's going to be an issue with that which I'll talk about in just a moment but it is going to be a beautiful day, still bright and warmer. How much warmer? We'll take a look at this. Forecast high 64 in Woodland Park, 68 in Monument, 73 in the Springs, close to 80 in Pueblo. Paris 7 is my forecast high in Canyon City and around 80 or 82 for La Junta and Lamar, 79 in Springfield. It comes at a cost. Red flag warning 11 a.m. tomorrow till 8 p.m. Please avoid burning at any cost possible and be careful what you do if you're a smoker. Meanwhile, your seven day forecast looks like this. There's your pick of the litter. If you're looking for the best day in the seven day forecast, it has to be Monday. Beautiful, bright, a little breezy in the afternoon, but warm. 73 degrees, my forecast high in the springs. Now Tuesday, a little cooler, still breezy. And for the afternoon, a few hours of clouds as a cool front comes through, cutting off the highs and keeping it steady as she goes through Thursday, which looks decent, but increasingly cloudy by Thursday afternoon again. Here's the other interesting day on Friday. Let's talk a little bit about that. That day, there's likely to be a similar scenario to what we experienced this past Friday and Friday night. A lot of wind, heavy clouds, and a few showers. You're not going to escape that if you're in Pueblo as well, as I'm expecting similar conditions there on Friday. So that would be the only real chance for precipitation this week if you're in Pueblo. But meanwhile, let's enjoy tomorrow at 79 or 80 with a Bright day, breezy in the afternoon. Tuesday still breezy with a few clouds in the afternoon only, really, as a cool front comes through, shaves back your temperatures, and then stays in the 60s towards 70 for Wednesday, Thursday, before cooling off next weekend. Canyon City, 77 tomorrow, mainly sunny skies, and a little breezy in the afternoon. A few more clouds Tuesday afternoon, but still nice, especially in the morning. A little cooler for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday could be a little stormy here. We're talking about sideways rainfall and maybe even snow Friday night. We'll wait and see on that. Woodland Park, great looking day tomorrow. A little breezy in the afternoon. Some clouds Tuesday afternoon could ring out a sprinkle, I suppose. Keeps it cooler for Wednesday and Thursday as well. And then Friday looks like it could be stormy. In the last 24 hours, as I'm looking at the computer charts for next Friday, mm -hmm. it looks so much like this past really? Friday and Friday night. It's just a matter of whether the precip moves out before the coldest of the cold air moves in as to whether there's any snow involved. But it does look stormy for next Friday and Friday night. Good. We can use the moisture. Absolutely. We can get it. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Well